Today we're going to demonstrate how to create a Kubernetes cluster using OpenStack Magnum. As you can see, we have logged into the LMX platform and we can see that there are currently no clusters created. We do have one unrelated instance running and in the container infrastructure list you can see that there's nothing showing. The first thing we'll do is define a new template. We'll give it a name and select the Kubernetes orchestration engine. We select the desired image, keys and flavors for the template, as well as the storage requirements. In the network settings, we'll stick with the default driver and we don't need any proxy settings inside. We'll use a public external network and we'll use its own private network, along with Google's DNS servers. And finally, we'll create a floating IP so that we can access it locally. We'll add in a few additional labels to allow it to boot from volume using the Lightbits Light OS storage which will give us NVMe storage rather than default Ceph, and this will give us a speed boost when deploying. Next, we'll create a new cluster, and we'll call it Demo K8s. And using the Demo K8s template with one master and one node, We can see that it's been successfully submitted now and the templates tab will show the details of the cluster that's being created. LMX uses the heat templates internally and so if we look at the orchestration section we can see the stack that we are creating. And we can see here all of the components that make up the system. For example, the cluster config, the cube master and minions. And this cube master we can see is attached to this worker service group here, but you can of course have more than one. The whole process will take around 10 minutes to deploy. So we're gonna fast forward just a little. As you can see now, our cluster has been deployed and we can take a closer look at the instances where we'll see one master and one minion node. Next, we need to create our config file so we can actually access this cluster. So we'll switch into a shell and from the command line, we'll access our container where we have the OpenStack environment. You can ignore this delete step. We're simply removing an older config file.
This command will now create a new config file in this folder that we can use to access the cluster. And we can see here the new config file has been created. Next, we set the cube config variable to point to the full path of the config file that we created earlier, which happens to be the current directory, so we'll just use pwd for short. And we can see our master and minion nodes are up and running and responsive. The next thing we'll do is take a look at the dashboard, which isn't open to a public network just yet. So the first thing we'll do is create a load balancer that exposes it publicly. Once created, we will be able to see the accessible IP address here. Next, we need admin credentials, so we can use the following command to have a look at the secret tokens. We can use the description command along with the admin token to generate the login token for the web interface. Now that our external IP is now ready, we can go ahead and try to log in. Once signed in, we can see all of our registered namespaces. And if we switch into the cube system namespace, we should be able to see the relevant metrics from the system we've created. For more information on LMX Cloud's orchestration capabilities, you can visit our website at www.define-technology.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel to view our latest video demonstrations. Thanks for watching. Thank you.